Doctors, welcome to my channel IITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought another exciting problem, fairly challenging problem from alternating current uh, which was asked in one of our uh, mock test papers. So without much ado, let me straight away get into the problem. Here it is. So this is a problem which involves alternating current which is independent of the value of the resistance. So in the circuit shown in the figure, the inductance of the coil is L is equal to 10 milli Henry. So this inductor is 10 milli Henry and the capacitance of the capacitor is 0 0.2 milli farad. So this is 0 0.2 milli farad. The circuit is powered by an AC voltage source. If the value of the current measured by the ammeter does not depend on the resistor, then the frequency of sound source, uh, frequency of the source is there are four options 140 hertz 180 hertz 160 hertz and 200 hertz if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away okay so let's see how to do this one okay uh, here i'm going to use the complex number approach for uh, doing this uh, because i feel that that's a smart way of doing it uh, so uh, according to uh, uh, the uh, complex number theory you know that the, capa the uh, reactance of capacitor is supposed to be minus Jxc where Xc is 1 by omega c and the reactance of the inductor is given as J omega L and of course uh, resistance is a real number. Okay, So we have two uh, elements in series and then uh, these, this series, the upper series is in parallel with the lower one. So what I can do, uh, I, can, I will be writing the reciprocal uh, impedance and then I'll try to make the reciprocal impedance independent of uh, resistance, okay? So if the total impedance is independent of resistance, that means what reciprocal impedance is also independent of the resistance. So what is the reciprocal impedance? So one upon Z tilde, uh, I'm writing uh, this symbol, the tilde symbol I'm putting to uh, represent a complex number or sometimes in textbooks they call it a phasor. So one upon impedance phasor is equal to what? So see this branch the impedance is R minus JXC. Okay, so 1 upon R minus JXC that's for this branch and for this branch the impedance is 1 upon JXL, right? So, uh, so parallel formula I'm using 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 like you have in current electricity also. So now uh, I can take the LCM and then combine. So numerator is R plus JXL minus XC. You just take the LCM and denominator is uh, JXL multiplied by this, okay? So now, what's the magnitude of this uh, complex number? So instead of finding the magnitude, I've written the square of the magnitude of this complex number. So that's the square of the magnitude of the numerator divided by square of the magnitude of the denominator, okay? So uh, you know that when we have two complex numbers, uh, Z1 divided by Z2 into Z3, then its magnitude is nothing but uh, Z1 mod divided by Z2 mod into uh, Z3 mod. So JXL magnitude is simply XL and the square of that is xl square and this complex number the magnitude squared is r square plus xc square so that's what i've written r square plus xc square and this is r square plus xl minus xc whole square right that's the square of this magnitude okay now i want this term to be independent of r so of course uh, xl square is independent of r so that means this divided by this should be independent of r now if i focus on uh, uh, this term this much so r square upon xl minus xc whole square and r square plus xc square this does not depend on or depend on r that only means that this term uh, the one in this uh, this circle and these two terms should be equal okay so that's what we can easily see that this factor will become independent of r if xl minus xc is equal to xc or we can say xl is equal to 2xc now xl is nothing but omega l and xc is 1 by omega c so omega l is equal to 2 by omega c that gives us omega is under root of 2 by lc now uh, i can just put in the values so uh, l was given as 10 milli henry and capacitance was given as 2.2 milli farad just put in the values and this comes to be 2 10 to the power 3 radians per second but this is in uh, uh, units of angular frequency but i want frequency so you equate this to 2 pi f and solve for f this comes out to be approximately 160 hertz and that was our option b so that was uh, my analysis to this problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram 
uh, or uh, Facebook or Instagram or whatever uh, gram you use <laughs> for networking with your fellow students. And uh, most importantly, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.